Hey there, I'm Brandon, and this is the Dirt Church Devotional. Now, it's like two days till Christmas, and so I thought I would kind of keep a Christmas theme. I want to I want to talk today about some guys that get some good airplay. Obviously, you know, I shouldn't say obviously, but unfortunately, they weren't actually in the real nativity scene. They weren't actually in the barn looking at Jesus in the manger. You probably figured out who I'm talking about. It's the wise men. Now, we don't know an awful lot about them. We, we don't really know where they came from. We don't really know how many of them there were. We know that they brought some gifts. We know that they traveled from afar, that they came from the east. We know that they had traveled around two years to get to Bethlehem in order to be able to uh, worship Jesus. But there's not an awful lot else that we know about. In fact, we, I'm just thinking, you know, magi, wise men, I think we've always just laid it there and said, well, they were wise because of what they knew. But let me challenge you with this. What if they weren't wise because of what they knew, but instead they were wise because of what they did? Now, by their own account, this is in Matthew chapter 2, you can read it for yourself, you ought to. They saw the star in the east. They, they traveled to Jerusalem. Now somehow the star guided them to Jerusalem, but that's not where Jesus was. It guided them to Jerusalem. They talked to Herod, who then spoke to the chief priests. And this is where I say what they did and not what they knew. Herod asked the chief priest, where is the Messiah supposed to be born? The chief priest, bam, they quoted the prophets. They said, well, Bethlehem, Judea, because this is what it says. They knew, but they didn't go. They knew stuff. They were smart, but they weren't wise. The wise men, when they found out, oh, he's supposed to be born in Bethlehem, they said, well, we're on our way. And then Herod stopped and said, hey, when you find out, um, let me know so I can worship him too. This gives us a clue. You see, there's a, there's an, and I'm kind of jumping around, there's this thing called the rule of repetition. And when you want to get a point across, when you want to teach somebody something, you, you repeat it. So read that, read Matthew chapter 2 and, and follow the rule of repetition. You'll find out exactly what it was that the wise men were doing and why they were wise. They were wise for what they did. First, they told Herod, we want to worship this king. Herod said, let me know when you find him so I can worship him too. Well, he was lying, but he was confirming what they were going to do. And then when they left Herod's presence, said that the star appeared again, which is pretty cool. They got all excited. It led them to Bethlehem, right to the house that Jesus was at. They went in, and it says they found Jesus and his mother Mary, and they bowed down and they worshipped him. They didn't worship Mary. They worshipped Jesus. They declared his worth. They, they glorified him. They honored him. And then, almost as a second thought, they pulled out gifts. It says, and then they gave him gifts from the treasures, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. We don't know how much. I think it was kind of as a second thought to what they came to do. They were wise because of what they did. They worshiped. They traveled a long way. I did a little bit of checking. Did you know you could walk from Alaska to Florida in about four months, walking for 12 hours a day? These guys spent nearly two years to get to Jesus that they might worship. I think that's a... When, that is so amazing when you consider that today in 2020, we have a hard time sometimes getting in a car and driving 20 minutes so that we could worship Jesus. Because we have all kinds of excuses. Well, we could worship him here in our house. We can worship him here over the internet. We can worship him. But you know what? These wise men, they could have worshiped from afar. There wasn't anybody else that was hopping on their camels and following a star. They could have worshiped from afar. But now, they were wise, they were curious, they got on their camels, and they headed out. 
and they found Jesus, and they worshipped him. So as you're celebrating Christmas in a couple of days, you're getting together with family and friends, doing however you do Christmas, let me challenge you. Don't just be smart. Be wise. Spend some time actually worshiping Jesus, the reason for the season. Yeah, that's all I've got for today. Have a great day. Have a very Merry Christmas. Lord bless you. Chew on that.